Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the webinar on uh, ServiceNow Mass Vaccine Administration Process Management. And um, I am glad that I can welcome you to this webinar. Quickly, before we start the webinar, quickly let me take you through who we are. So we are DX Sherpa. We have about 250 active employees with ServiceNow, and we are working in four plus continents. We are growing at a rate of 7.5% each year. And along with that, we are uh, serving multiple industries like healthcare, financial services, manufacturing, insurance. Introducing today's speaker, Mr. Sushil Chaudhary, and he is one of the guys who has completely worked up in uh, customer service management and vaccine management. He is one of our solution architects, and he'll be guiding your journey today. Sushil, over to you. You can take this ahead. Thank you, Animish. Uh, let me share my screen. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so I believe my screen is visible. So, hello everyone and uh, welcome to the webinar on vaccine administration management. So before we move ahead in uh, actual webinar, so here are a few housekeeping notes. You can post your questions uh, to the Q&A window during the webinar and we will uh, address them uh, at the end of this webinar. You can even email us your, your questions later on info at the rate uh, dxsherpa.com. With this, I would like to start with our webinar. So uh, as you, you all know, uh, we are living in the pandemic situation. The need, speed and size of COVID-19 vaccine rollout will be unprecedented and requiring a seamless mechanism to manage this vaccine delivery. Countries, states and the provider organizations and even the pharmaceutical companies are already uh, supporting vaccine management today. Whether we are talking about something on the scale of COVID-19 vaccines or not, the process requires several critical areas for proper deployment. However, uh, they have not previously had to support this kind of multi-dose vaccination for every individual while managing with the limited supplies and uh, ruling schedule for prioritized population based on the risk. So not to mention compressed timelines and heightened imperatives against a virus that has completely disrupted every nation nowadays. India is also experiencing the second COVID wave. This makes it imperative to vaccinate its citizens faster to prevent further disaster uh, due to COVID-19. India is currently managing the challenges of rising COVID-19 cases and high number of hospitalization, as well as managing the vaccine logistics. An adult vaccination drive of this magnitude is an altogether new experience for every country. Vaccine distribution network has to vaccinate nearly, uh, if we talk about only India, nearly 1.4 billion people spread out over cities, districts, and villages. And globally, that is around more than 15 billion. And uh, administering an average uh, uh, of uh, 3.4 million in India uh, per day. So across the country, you know, different states and in different union territories, which this is kind of a new challenge for every country. And even in India, since March 2021, the government has also allowed the private sector to join in its vaccination drive so that they can speed up this process. However, this complete vaccination, when we talk about both the doses, uh, the first dose and second dose, has so far been achieved uh, in only 3.1% of the total population. So how we can overcome these challenges? And there it service now is proud to help solve this kind of complex logistics, coordinations, and effective delivery to people that is required. So we are harnessing the power of our now platform to provide government agencies and other worldwide organization the scale, speed, and flexibility that is required. ServiceNow vaccine administration management solves the last mile challenges of keeping people healthy and safe. Despite, as we all know, heroic scientific achievements has been done in developing this COVID-19 vaccine. But organizations are still trapped in the last mile challenge of vaccine management as they lacked in the processes and infrastructure needed so that uh, people can get vaccinated quickly. 
the characteristics of this vaccine are like limited supply precise storage conditions and then there is a two part injection requirement so that makes it urgent you know distribution and that requires a complex workflow so how service now vaccine administration can help you so uh, we all know there are you know disconnected manual legal systems are there uh, are the among you know the major challenges in getting world vaccinated nowadays and to address these problems organizations are using service now's now platform as their vaccine management solution so it is available today on service now store uh, as a vaccine administration management this solution gives organizations out of the box capabilities that allow people to access critical vaccine information they can schedule their own appointments and receive the appointment notification or the email and then uh, the from the different vaccine providers so vaccine administration management is built on service now customer service management and it delivers a model self service kind of experience across desktop mobile devices and then solution connects uh, the recipient communication with vaccine inventory systems so organizations can easily notify the uh, recipient when more vaccines are available when how many doses are available or which appointments are available so that recipient can schedule the appointments as per their convenience and even the providers can certain reminders or notifications when the appointment is due so this vaccine administration can respond to recipient faster with the automated workflows started starting from initial contact to when the appointment is scheduled and then they can also the, the pre vaccination preparation check is also available where certain questionnaire you can configure so this is this kind of uh, uh, you know uh, patient and uh, citizen engagement can be done through vaccine administration through vaccine administration management you can facilitate the uh, distribution channel as well so that you can uh, prioritize the distributions across different sites so how you can allocate the vaccines on different vaccination centers that also can be done you can seamlessly manage and uh, onboard uh, the provider organization in this vaccine administration programs so you can configure different uh, providers programs here so that you can manage your vaccine you can streamline the vaccine administration uh, in, into different phases you can prioritize the critical population say example you would like to prioritize only uh, right now uh, you know we are uh, into phase like 18 plus phase earlier it was 16 uh, plus 60 plus 45 plus so that kind of phases you can do and prioritize the critical population you can also do the capacity monitoring and inventory man management through this vaccine administration management you can also monitor the vaccine uh, transport and ensure the appropriate tracking and on time delivery of this uh, vaccination to the different centers monitoring of the recipients after vaccination uh, is done and so that you can streamline the adverse if a event reporting whenever the doses are completed so these are the uh, a few features which you can come up with this uh, vaccine administration solution and to address uh, you know the different needs of this uh, uh, unprecedented situation and so that you can deliver the seamless execution under the compressed timelines so th there are a few things you need to you know keep in mind so you need to automate as much as you can so the manual so to avoid the manual processes because manual processes are slow they are prone to error and uh, will overwhelm the staff the your current staff which is available with you you can create uh, you need to create a visibility so that you can continually optimize the process you need to ensure the standards and safety uh, are made as well and to deliver the new levels of collaboration across different teams which are available you need to maintain a communication among the uh, diverse stakeholders who are traditionally you know uh, haven't handled this kind of engagement earlier you need to also uh, do the financial planning to ensure that funds are being used to drive the greatest benefit for the people so there there has to be transfer in the process you need to address the different issues immediately if they arise and you need to track them to you know identify the trends of this proactive management so that something you need to hire, you know keep in mind while you are doing the vaccine ad administration so everyone needs a platform that can connect the systems of record or systems of accesses so that they can streamline the workflows by being in system on actions so that is more important uh, for every organization nowadays we know that over the last uh, uh, year the focus has been on the left three columns that is authorizations prioritization and manufacturing of this vaccine but now the focus is on distribution administration and monitoring 
while service now can connect the entire vaccine management value chain the priority of customers has shifted to getting the vaccination to the people as millions of people seeking vaccinations organizations are reliant on legacy systems and processes that are not optimized to support this kind of massive uh, uh, engagement so meanwhile organizations do not have this established processes in place to offer self service capabilities where you can proactively schedule the appointments that follow the requirement of effectively administering this vaccine so that's where the uh, service now vaccine administration management can help you so this service now vaccine management addresses these critical components across distribution administration monitoring and delivering uh, you know through this connected workflows today we are focusing in one of the greatest challenge you know uh, of delivering this vaccine to this recipients through uh, different scheduling mechanism or distribution mechanism so using service now as your vaccine management solution organizations can connect all of your data and make workflow across different silos legacy system including scheduling prioritization communication so service now digital workflows can connect organizations existing technology as well so you may have certain existing application or infrastructure to which you can connect and provide a dashboard so that you can orchestrate these critical elements of this vaccine management process uh, including but not limited to distribution of vaccines where you can track the vaccine delivery manage its inventory and monitor the different stock levels available on every center so that you can support the population on priority you can do the administration of this vaccine through schedule the vaccine uh, administrator and support staff you can track different equipments you can monitor the no shows appointments or you can even cancel the appointments or uh, and capture the feedback from the recipients people can communicate with the provider uh, with the you know channel of their choice so it, when we say omni channel experience the user has the capability to connect through chatbot self service portal or walk up so this kind of capability is also available through vaccine management and you can monitor the vaccine outcomes so uh, the to monitor the recipient safety you can report uh, uh, there is a mechanism to report the adverse events and you know uh, so that you can uh, make uh, you know workplace safer for them to return so organizations urgently need different workflows that connect the silos legacy system to speed up the immunization process and get the world back to the normal so this is everyone's priority nowadays i believe yeah so that's why service now vaccine administration management accelerates this immunization process by delivering the out of the box content uh, to manage these different vaccinations so let, let let's go further and how, what exactly you get uh, through this vaccine administration management so with vaccine uh, management recipient uh, uh, you can uh, as i mentioned it is built on this customer service management professional so it is possibility to easily schedule manage and service vaccination appointments so the key capabilities that include our request you can the vaccine recipient can request the appointments they can register themselves they can reschedule or the cancel the vaccination appointment as per their choice the vaccine providers can collect relevant pre vaccination information so they they can collect the privacy consent as well so this can the the questionnaire which you can put there are also configurable you can the organizations can put their choice of questionnaire to collect the vaccination information you can notify and remind users via email about the upcoming appointment so the reminders will be sent to the users or the recipients and you the administrators also have the option to bulk schedule the vaccine appointments uh, so that you do if you want to uh, schedule the appointments in bulk for your employees so that can even be possible rather than individually doing it and then administering and re recording this vaccination is also possible so this wam the vaccine administration management is available in service now store to help customer with the uh, recipient engagement and scheduling challenge they are facing now, right now this app is totally focused on the, the uh, recipient to uh, so that they can request the vaccination appointment and then there are uh, options so that you can schedule the second appointment separately and then uh, you know communication will also be sent through these different apps so let's see uh, how, which are the different personas uh, we are talking about here so these are the different uh, stakeholders involved in streamlining this vaccination process so one of them is vaccine recipient 
who can use self service portal to book the appointments and get answers for their queries so everyone may have certain queries about the vaccination process like uh, what are the precautionary measures that has to be taken before going for the vaccination when the vaccine second vaccination is due and are there any uh, uh, post vaccination precaution that has to be taken so this kind of so, so many of the recipient may have this kind of questions so you can get this answer uh, through the knowledge base so you can uh, put out certain knowledge articles and where the users can go on site search portal and get the answer for it user can also utilize the virtual agent that is a chatbot application which is available with this application where they can interact with them and they can uh, uh, you know search their queries they can book the appointment through this virtual chatbot as well they can schedule appointment and choose the vaccination center date and time of their choice so one can reschedule or cancel the appointment as well and once their appointment is scheduled user receives the notification via email when we talk about the uh, administrator the provider administrator so they can configure the appointment schedules they can configure the centers and inventory which is available so uh, how many how much stock is received on particular center how to distribute that so that all is possible through an administrator role so they can schedule the bulk appointments as we have discussed earlier and they, they can configure the pre vaccination questionnaire uh, what the questionnaire has to be presented to the recipient when they booked for the appointment clinician will have the ability to review the vaccine appointment schedules so they can verify the details uh, what are the details the the clinician uh, sorry the recipient has put in while booking the appointment the questionnaire answer they can see and once the verification uh, is done for the recipient information so the clinician can provide the dosage and record the vaccination and consume the inventory so these are the different stakeholder roles uh, which are available uh, uh, which we'll be talking more uh, going for, forward in this webinar so again these are the uh, few personas which we will be discussing user that is nothing but the recipient who will be requiring uh, a vaccine clinician who will be administering this vaccine and administrator admin role which is available there uh, to manage your appointments and then inventory and then the agent customer service agent so let's go further and then uh, deep dive into the uh, use cases of these different personas so you can see Samantha is the one of the end user or uh, recipient. So she registers herself uh, through uh, uh, self service portal on the self service portal. You will find the self registration option. She uh, uh, register herself and provide the consent to the privacy policy. And then uh, after registering herself, the, uh, some uh, data will be collected for the phase eligibility, like your age, gender, your locality, where you are currently located. So that uh, accordingly, the eligibility will be calculated in the background. And then if the user is eligible, they will be presented to schedule an appointment. And if the citizen is not eligible, they will be uh, informed via email or notification. And they can also interact with the virtual agent. So Samantha can interact with the virtual agent to view certain FAQs if she has any certain questions. So she can view the virtual agent and knowledge articles. So going further, she can filter the uh, uh, say vaccination center by state, by city, or by uh, you know the zip code which is available. And then once she filters the vaccination center, she can choose the vaccination center and date and time of her choice. Once that is done the, she, the uh, registration has been done for the vaccination she will receive an qr code or an email and she can also view that on a self-service portal and once that is done she has to uh, complete certain pre-vaccine questionnaire which will be presented after the vaccine uh, appointment is done and uh, going ahead she can also reschedule the appointment and she has the option to cancel the appointment as well and she can also do this uh, uh, scheduling of the, her second appointment after the first is completed. So this kind of uh, self-registration and uh, manage appointment options are available for the different uh, so the end users through the self-service portal. Let, let's talk about the uh, customer service agent. So Jenny is uh, uh, one of the customer service agent who manages the appointments on behalf of the user. For so example, you receive uh, calls from the uh, re recipient that they are not able to uh, book the appointment uh, and they, they want a customer service agent to uh, book it on their behalf. So because Jenny responds to the call, incoming call and then she lo looks for the, uh, she collects the user information and she, uh, checks the, if the user is already existing in the system. If the user uh, don't exist, she enters the personal data and checks uh, the phase eligibility. If the recipient is eligible, she can go ahead and book the appointment for the user by choosing the vaccination center and then appointment slots, uh, which are convenient to the user. 
and then uh, she has also option going ahead uh, she, the user can also reschedule the appointment or they can call the customer service agent and then they can uh, ask to reschedule that so this kind of uh, different uh, you know roles the chain can play when we talk about the customer service agent so julie is uh, the administrator who is managing the inventory so she is uh, uh, looking on the one of the vaccination center so once she receives a new supply of vaccine at particular center she enters total doses say example she received 200 300 or 500 doses on a particular day she has the ability or she has the functionality to enter the doses how many doses are received on a particular day and she can allocate these doses across multiple days so you can uh, evenly distribute them uh, across say, example 5 days 10 days or you, you the admin have the ability to distribute them manually as well and so you can monitor the, this vaccine how many vaccines are allocated how many are booked how many are used and then how many are wasted so julie uh, will have uh, the all that view uh, as an admin when we talk about the configure the appointments so julie will have as a, a local administrator she can view all the centers which are available and she can create the appointment say example what should be the appointment duration should the vaccination drive should be continued all the weekend as well that is saturday and sunday or do you want to keep it only on weekdays so that kind of configuration local administrator can do she can also decide what should be the start time and what should be the end time for this vaccination on a daily basis and how many appointments should be considered uh, as on per window say example if you try uh, to want to put one hour window two hour window or half an hour window so per window how many appointments should be booked 20 10 30 so that kind of configurations can be done by the local administrator through this appointment configuration this vaccine uh, uh, admin will also have the ability to do the bulk appointment scheduling. Say, example, you, uh, you want to book uh, booking for 1,000 employees. So the admin can do that. So the, the data has to be provided in certain template. Uh, and then uh, Julie will, as an admin, she can upload the data, the member data into the ServiceNow platform on the ServiceNow vaccine administration application. And then uh, once the data is uploaded, she can uh, you know book the appointment as per the locations so what are the different locations uh, has been provided by uh, during this uh, you know bulk data and they can she can automatically create these records for all the users which are available into that particular excel sheet and members also will be notified uh, of their appointments through an email and then uh, if they want to cancel that particular appointment at a particular location that also can be done going ahead so when we talk about these uh, uh, clinician roles, so there is a clinician role who can do the vaccine administration. So uh, once the uh, recipient, uh, you know, uh, get on the vaccination center, so they have to present uh, their QR code. Once they present the QR code, uh, the clinician can scan that QR code and they will be able to see what all the uh, you know so all the recipient information their details id questionnaire what are the different questionnaire responses they have uh, provided the questionnaires are nothing but uh, their health history uh, and then all those details will be captured in those questionnaire and then she can verify the first two details and then once the everything is verified she can administer and record that vaccine so oh, and then the mark the vaccine has completed so the clinician also have the option to mark as no show if the uh, recipient uh, the, haven't turned up for this appointment so they, they can mark as no show and also they can cancel this appointment so these are the different uh, uh, features which are available across the uh, different personas with uh, which are available with vaccine administration management so uh, also i would like to run you through the quick demo of vaccine administration management so uh, so let me uh, quickly jump on this uh, part. So you can see these are the different clinician, citizen, and provider admin roles are available. And uh, so this is the, the, how you can see this uh, self-service portal where the users can come and they can see this is the process. Registration has to be done first. They have to enter the personal information and then schedule vaccination and then update on the health history. So these are the different options which are available. You can also see the knowledge bases which are available. So once the user clicks on the self-registration, they have to present email, first name, last name, and then password, and they have to present this kind of information. Once they submit this, they will get an email uh, for verifying their email address on that particular email, what they have presented. 
once they verify that email address so they have they can log into this particular portal okay so here you can see the, the user is logged in so they now you can see the different knowledge articles uh, the provider can put certain knowledge articles or faqs you can also see on the right hand side you can see the virtual agent chatbot through which you can interact for scheduling your appointment or searching for some faqs so you have to enter certain personal information like the gender age group to check the eligibility for, for the appointment uh, you know vaccination so this questionnaire is can definitely configurable if the user is eligible they will be presented with the option of schedule vaccination so the state city that will be captured through the different details which you are already entered and the user can choose the uh, preferred vaccination center and they will also have the options to select the appointment so on particular date and then for particular time slot so which are the different time slots are available they can choose this uh, of their choice so say example user uh, wants to do it on 17 march so they can choose certain time slot and then once that is uh, set so they will also have the option to uh, choose the time and slot for dosage so for second dose the user uh, can uh, the admin can configure certain duration say example uh, uh for for covid shield now in india the duration is 84 days so the duration between two doses has to be 80 or 84 days so that kind of configuration even you can do so that the user cannot uh, book the second appointment uh, before 84 days so that kind of configuration is also available in wham so and then the user has to provide certain uh, uh, health history here so that the questionnaire can be configurable and then certain identification you know uh, card they have to provide and once that is done the vaccine will be scheduled appointment will be scheduled and the user will be notified via an email so they will get an qr code where they can you know see all these details when the vaccination is due and uh, they can also manage the appointments so they can uh, cancel the appointments uh, whenever required okay so that is also available so once they, they this is the self service portal through which they can manage the appointments so going ahead you can see the, before going for the vaccination the, there is a pre appointment questionnaire also you can configure so like uh, do you had a fever in last 24 hours or 48 hours so this kind of questionnaire can be you know made compulsory for the recipient where they can also reschedule and cancel the appointments if they want to do so this is all about the uh, recipient role and there is a clinician role now you can see the clinician has the ability uh, to check the upcoming appointments so they can do it for the mobile devices or tablets or desktop so right now the clinician can see all the upcoming appointments they also have the option to scan a qr code or enter a code so whenever the recipient turn up for this appointment at the vaccination center so you can see they the uh, the user can uh, the clinician can click on the scan qr code options where they will be uh, presented uh, uh, they can scan a qr code and the, all the details of the recipient will be uh, visible for the clinician so you can see what are the questionnaire the responses they had given what are the addresses what is the age what is the first dose second dose you can also verify the id so all those details will be filled by the clinicians once they fill all those details and then they administer the vaccine and provide the dosage so the clinician can mark the appointment as mark as complete uh, if the recipient didn't turn up they can mark as no show or cancel the appointment so these are the different options which are available with clinician moving ahead we have the administrator the clinician administrator who can manage the different programs the vaccination programs so you can configure multiple vaccination programs through this vaccine administrator so how they you can manage the uh, supplies of these different vaccines so you have the va manage vaccination supply slots so once you receive this vaccine slots so you can enter that information into the system so on the which particular date and on which particular center those vaccine and of which model that has been received Sushi, I, I think we lost you between.
Yep, I'm sorry. Uh, there was some technical glitch. So let me share again. Okay, so. Yeah, so you can see the administrator can configure and they can distribute this uh, upon uh, the vaccine doses across uh, you know multiple days. They can distribute it manually or they can distribute it evenly. So this is how the admin can uh, distribute this inventory. The, the admin can also see these different dashboards which are available. They can see uh, uh, the, how many scheduled appointments, how many completed appointments, how many no show appointments. So that kind of uh, uh, visibility they can have. Okay uh and uh, moving ahead uh, they can also track it by weekly by monthly and these dashboards can give them how the vaccine management process is uh, uh, you know performing so that kind of visibility will be available to your stakeholders uh, so this is how the uh, you know uh, vaccine administration can work for you so moving ahead i would like to uh, take you through you know uh, further uh, part of this webinar so where I'll be uh, uh, taking why service now, you know, you should do service now for this vaccine management. So this vaccine uh, administration management application accelerates the uh, immunization process by delivering this out of the box content uh, the, to manage this vaccination. Uh, you can increase the uh, support staff capacity through efficient, uh, you know, uh, service portal, which is available. So self service portal is available for both your recipient and this clinicians as well. You can uh, uh, seamlessly uh, provide this onboarding mechanism through uh, you know, intelligent support, which is available through ServiceNow. You can uh, efficiently manage this vaccine provisioning through so intelligent case handling, and then you can prioritize the citizen uh, to, who, to whom you want to you know, provide this vaccination. That is also available through the vaccine administration management. You can improve the clinician and support staff scheduling through efficient workforce and appointment management, which is available with ServiceNow. You can enable the citizens to book and vaccinate with confidence because uh, there has to be trust uh, for recipient and uh, you can provide the secure uh, you know, platform for their data security. So whatever the personal information uh, you, uh, recipients are providing while booking these appointments. So that will be a secure in service now platform. So, and then you can minimize the erroneous uh, vaccine bookings through intelligent reminders. So when we talk about uh, the notifications which are being sent uh, to the, the recipient when they book the appointments or the appointments due. So that can uh, reduce the uh, errors during the vaccine booking. You can also minimize the risk of recipient data being compromised because when we talk about ServiceNow platform, it is quite secure and it comes with encryption mechanism for uh, the sensitive data fields, whatever the data the users are entering into the system. And moving ahead, I would like to highlight uh, a couple of success stories so for this vaccine administration implementation. So uh, for children's uh, uh, Minnesota, uh, care is everything, okay? So with COVID as a key focus for these organizations, they needed to live up to this aspiration. Uh, they, they, they had their existing vaccine scheduling approach, which was causing a significant issues because the wait times were over three hours. And uh, because of that, the queues wrapped around the hospital and parking ramps were overflowing. And that's where ServiceNow vaccine administration management went live within just uh, five business days with its out of the box capabilities. The application has transformed the vaccine appointment process as well as inventory tracking and you know uh, staffing levels all together for these organizations. They utilize the virtual agent also. So we had deployed the virtual agent to answer questions and schedule the appointments automatically. So the previous winding queues and long waits uh, of three weeks have disappeared due to implementation on this one. And the average wait times have been reduced from three hours to just 20 minutes for this particular organizations. So there is another success story of uh, the NHS National Services Scotland. They have been working tirelessly in battle against this COVID-19. And they are managing the vaccine rollout for Scotland's more than 4 million citizens. So their goal was to complete the rollout quickly. Uh, but the program that is needed to manage this kind of population so uh, NHS wants to allow vaccination centers to create a local standby list so that the citizens can request individual time slots and they can get the uh, appointment booked. 
so working on this now platform a vaccination management system was built as per the uh, nhs requirement in just six weeks and the system established a comprehensive uh, you know flexible solution for the scheduling and the recording of the you know vaccination program so the uh, vaccination total implementation it took around 12 weeks for this particular system the system also gathers accurate data and so that they can provide a national picture to the organizations what is the progress of this vaccination process so these are a couple of success stories uh, which we could achieve uh, through this uh, vam implementation service now vam implementation so with this uh, we came to end of this webinar thank you for listening today and we would be happy to help you in this vaccine administration process uh, across your organizations thank you thank you sushil for a wonderful session i am pretty sure most of the questions have been answered all together is it okay if we can start with the question is uh, over here uh, yes sure anish we can okay so one of the questions that is up is um, the flow between uh, clinicians and uh, the, the the administrations how is it connected like how can we get analytics from it so uh, so, so as i as i already mentioned during the webinar so uh, the recipient and clinicians these are the two different personas which we, we are talking about when uh, vam comes in the picture vaccine administration management so recipient is one who will be requesting the uh, vaccine so they have their self service portal and where they can request the appointment schedule the appointment they can get the answers and once they record this uh, appointment so that appointment uh, uh, visibility will be available to the clinician so clinician will have that visibility what are the questionnaire they have answered or what are the responses they had provided to the different question here so that will be available okay to the uh, clinician where they can track it so th this is how they these two different personas or the different role, uh, stakeholders are quite related to each other perfect another question i have at our end is uh, is it a, a standalone product or it comes under a particular module so uh, this is quite a standalone product but it comes with with your customer service management uh, professional capabilities okay so it is quite built on this customer service management uh, pro uh, license for uh, license product okay so but it is a standalone product so even if you are not currently using service now as your uh, platform so even you can deploy it uh, you know as a standalone product perfect uh, any other questions from your end sushil uh yes so I, I could see a couple of questions here uh, animesh so uh, I, one of the question is is this solution available via mobile devices uh yes so these the different portals which are available like clinician portal or the recipient portal that is self service portal they are optimized for mobile usage you know via browser so both clinician and the recipient can utilize that portal so they can be utilized via mobile devices tablets as well and uh, so one of the question is the can system generate the certificates uh, that that's a good question so uh, currently uh, this vaccine administration management does not generate the certificates uh, because our focus is mainly on vaccine administration and manage how the inventory should be managed how the uh, you know how the recipient can book their appointment that is our focus uh, so right now this certification generation is not available with vam and uh, i'd like to take uh, one of the last question uh, that is uh, is inventory management part of this application or it requires some additional cost okay so uh, th this inventory management as i shown you during the demo so it is a part of this application vaccine administration management so once the vaccination stocks uh, uh, are received so that can be managed within the application itself so it doesn't require any additional cost yeah i i think that's it uh animesh perfect sushi all right all right sushi thank you so much for your time um uh, to all the attendees uh, if there are any more questions that you want to ask or you want to get in touch with the demo for vaccine management you can get in touch with us at info at the rate txsherpa.com there is a small survey at the end of this webinar please make sure you take it thank you so much for your time Thank you, Sushil. It was great pleasure working with you. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day.